If you were to hear this audio, you might think that I'm recording my podcast in a nice quiet room without too many reflections and very little background noise. Well, if you made that assumption, you would be, well, listen for yourself. So what ridiculously expensive noise reduction plugin am I using to actually get usable audio out of this situation? Well, it's actually not a plugin at all. It's a standalone app only available on Mac OS right now called the Hush app. And the price, $49.99, one time only, no subscription. So let's take a closer look at the Hush app. We're gonna use it on an audio sample and then I'm gonna compare it to the plugin I've been using for about the past year, which is Waves Clarity VX Pro. And we'll also compare it to the Isotope RX Voice Denoise plugin as well. All right, let's take a quick look at the Hush app information here. Then we'll run it through a sample compared to a couple other plugins. So this is the Hush Audio app website, hushaudioapp.com, where they've got some information here. You can also download the free trial version. However, let's talk about how it works and uh, the operating system compatibility here. So first off, it only works on Mac OS, Monterey, or Ventura, and it is recommended to use with an Apple Silicon, so an M1 or an M2 equipped uh, Mac computer. And that is because it is programmed to take advantage of the neural engine, part of the Apple Silicon's architecture which uh, allows it to not use as much of your CPU and instead use that neural engine to do most of its processing. Now it will work on Mac OS Intel powered uh, computers, but it will have noticeably lower performance. It'll basically, it'll just take longer to process your, um, your audio files. And it is a standalone app that's available through the Mac App Store, but the website does indicate that an audio unit plugin may be added with a future release. So just a couple other points here. Uh, they point out that this is really trained. This is an AI-based program that was trained on dialogue. So it is really not intended for music. So it's really gonna be best for you know your podcast, your video use, and uh, video voiceovers, things like that. So here is the app interface. It is very, very simple. There is not a whole lot to look at here. On the right is the area where you're gonna drag and drop your audio files. On the left are just the few controls you do have. You only have one control over the actual processing, and that's this slider here. So you can set this all the way from zero to 100%. And for our uh, first test here, we're gonna leave it all the way at 100%. You can also choose a destination folder, set a prefix and a suffix for the file name, and then you can set the format. Now, you can also just leave the audio format the same as the original file, or you can have it change to the settings here. Uh, I've got this sample sort of queued up. Now this one has no processing applied, but this is what we're gonna use. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. All right, so there we go. That's what we're gonna use to uh, compare the Hush app against a couple other plugins. So I'm gonna take this file here and I'm just gonna drag it over into the Hush app now. And it will process. Now it was a very short clip, only nine seconds. So you can see how fast that was. And this is an M1 Pro uh, MacBook. So it does have the Apple Silicon. And so it's using the neural engine to do the processing rather than the CPU. All right, and it output the file here. You can see it's added my suffix hush 100. So I'm now gonna add that file into Logic Pro so that we can do our comparison. There we go. All right, so now let me solo this track. And actually, you know what? Let's do a quick recall here of what it sounds like on the original. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This All right, that's what the original sounds like. Now here is what the hush processing at 100% sounds like. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the hush app to other noise reduction plugins. That's, I would call a pretty impressive result. Now you have to remember, I left that at 100% processing, so I do not expect it, I wouldn't expect it to be absolutely 100% transparent with zero artifacts. But nonetheless, that is pretty impressive. Let me just solo back and forth between the original and the processed one for a second so you can hear that difference again, and then we'll move on and try another plugin. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. Yeah, so pretty impressive if you ask me. Right now that $49 price for the Hush app is looking like a pretty good deal for the result that I got there because of course you would never intentionally record 
in an environment with that much background noise unless unless it was part of what you were trying to capture in in the first place. So if we're just talking your average like computer fan background noise or something, I think you could probably dial that down considerably and still get a really nice clean result from it. But anyway, let's just run a comparison test here. Let's run it against the plugin I've been using for the last year or so. So this is Clarity VX Pro and this is a mono track. So this is the mono version of it. Now, Clarity VX Pro from Waves, uh, when I bought it about a year ago, I got it for $249. So considerably more, about four times more expensive than the Hush app. But this does have a lot more controls to it. Right now it's in sort of the basic mode. If I put it in advanced, it's got all of these separate frequency bands, which I can move around. I can set where the thresholds are for the frequency bands. I can set the processing levels differently for each frequency band. And then normally I use the Broad One HF Neural Network. So there's basically uh, just a few different options you have here with Clarity VX Pro as far as which algorithm you want it to use. And I usually use Broad One HF because as the pop-up shows there, it is intended to be better at retaining clarity of high frequencies, which is good for uh, dialogue. Now, I usually don't use the ambience gate over here on the right, but I do use this center dial. What this does is it tells the plugin how much separation do you want to have between the dialogue and what it identifies as the background or as noise. And I usually have this when I use it for video or my podcast. I usually have this around 30 to 40%. And so that usually gives me a very nice transparent result that does not sound overly processed at all. But for this comparison, because the Hush app is so simplistic, remember all we have is this one slider and I just processed it at 100%. I wanna do a simple comparison here. I don't want to give Clarity any type of advantage because it's got all these fancy controls. So I'm gonna turn advanced control off I'm gonna put it on broad one, which is a little bit more aggressive. We'll take it back off advanced. We'll set the voice to 100. And so this is what Clarity VX uh, will do here with this, with this audio sample. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. All right, so it certainly was successful at getting rid of the background noise. And now I didn't bounce that. That was just the live playback of uh, the plugin at work. But let me play through it one more time here. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. Let's just compare that again to Hush. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. All right, so two things that I heard there. I heard a little bit more artifacts, a little bit more of that processing kind of sound in clarity. And I also actually, while I was talking, not when I stopped talking, but while I was talking, I heard a little bit of the noise creeping through uh, on that pass there, on, the, on those first two passes with Clarity VX Pro. Now, if we set it to the Broad One HF, which is what I usually use because it's supposed to be better. So in theory, it shouldn't be quite quite as rough on the high frequencies. Let's hear how that algorithm does and we'll still leave it at 100%. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. All right, so that was even a little bit more of the high frequency, especially transients there, I think, were really creeping through. Uh, so it definitely sounded, it still sounded processed to me, and it did not sound that great. But let me solo between uh, Clarity here and Hush, so you can hear that difference with that algorithm. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. What I'm hearing there is that Hush is providing a cleaner result, even though it may not be, you know, 100% transparent, you still hear a little bit of that processing sound applied to it, but the result I think is, is more usable than what I got out of Clarity, out of either of the uh, Broad One or Broad One HF algorithms. Now broad two is another choice we have here. And we also have a new eco mode. Eco is going to be like very light. So I don't even really think it's worth trying here, but broad two is the even more aggressive algorithm from clarity. So let's give broad two a quick try here before we move on. Hey everybody, welcome to the semi-pro tech and gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the hush app to other noise reduction plugins. I still heard 
some of the noise while I was talking there. It still sounded a little strange. As far as how Hush compares when pushed to 100% compared to Clarity VX Pro pushed to 100% with severe background noise, and not we're not talking like, you know, light computer fan noise. We're talking like what would be an unusable recording. Hush gave me a cleaner result here so far, which is really impressive for a brand new piece of software that is a quarter of the price of Clarity VX Pro. All right, so moving on from Clarity, we have one more here. I do have Isotope RX8 voice denoise. So let's try that one out. Let's just give RX8 voice denoise a run at this. Now I'm gonna push both controls that I have here, reduction and threshold up as high as possible here to get, you know, again, we're trying to just push everything to 100 because that's what we did with Hush. And uh, I'm gonna leave it on adaptive mode and we're gonna let that run through here. Hey everybody, welcome to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. This is an audio sample for us to compare the Hush app to other noise reduction plugins. So what I got from that is I still could hear the ambient sound. It wasn't completely dampened or attenuated. Even Clarity VX Pro, I think, did better at that. I really didn't hear much of the ambient sound except for the um, Broad One HF. But with this even pushed to the max here, I think I still could hear like a certain level of consistent ambient sound back there. And the other problem was this also really cut into the vocal range frequencies. It, it doesn't really seem to separate the uh, the dialogue from the noise quite as much because it it did quite a bit of damage to the dialogue. So certainly Hush is not leaving, you know, the dialogue like 100% untouched. And I wouldn't expect that on 100% processing at all, not for any plugin, especially not a consumer level piece of software for noise reduction. We're not talking about noise reduction software that costs hundreds or thousands of dollars. But compared to both Clarity VX Pro and the uh, RX8 voice denoise, I think this result is actually really impressive because what it tells me is, like I mentioned before, you would never intentionally record, you know, your podcast or something with that much noise going on. So if we assume that in a more average scenario, we'd be talking about maybe a computer fan noise, then you should be able to back down the processing to, you know, maybe all the way down to 50% or something. And that should yield you a, a cleaner, more transparent result. So from a content creator standpoint, I think that the Hush app is absolutely worth checking out. Don't forget, there's a 21 day free trials, which is pretty cool. You get full functionality of it for 21 days. So you can run some tests with it and see if you think it'll work for you. I really hope it does come out as an audio unit plugin because I'd love to just throw it into my regular signal chain instead of Clarity VX Pro and see how it works. Let me know what you thought of the samples and the hush processing in the comments. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Semi-Pro Tech and Gear channel. Thanks everybody. See you next time.